Hi, this is Tim from Time to Sew. I'm back again with another quick demo. And this time, by popular request, we're doing F color enameling again. Uh, just to refresh your memory, F color uh, is when it's finished, it looks just like normally enameling. It's done on metal blanks, it's done with, uh, with powder. But rather than powder being ground glass, um, the powder is a resin. The advantage of this is that rather than needing an expensive kiln, and a lot of specialised equipment. The equipment that you need is quite minimal and it can be fired in a normal domestic oven or even in a little oven like this powered by candles. So what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to show you it today in the cooker. So without further ado, let's get going. So here we go. Here's the blank. Now, the really important thing is to make sure there's no grease, oil, or oxidization left on the surface of the metal blank. Now, I sped this bit of film up because it's fairly obvious how to sand something down, but left it all in because it's important to really emphasize this is a key part of enameling. Any slight residue left on the blank and your glass won't adhere properly or resin in this case. So you can see if I inadvertently touch it, I'm then sanding it again afterwards. Now use my little spatula, lift it up and layer it on there. The idea of the tray is to catch any uh, surplus powder so I can tip it back in the tub. The tubs I'm using are I've taken off the tops and replaced the tops with little sieves and I just tap the back of the tub with my finger and the powder falls out and I'm just going to put a layer of this gold powder um, and not surprising this is gold powder that gives a gold finish. That sounds a silly thing to say but the reason for me saying it will become clear when we do the next one. So there we go, a good layer of powder, as evenly as uh, you can manage across. The little U-shaped piece of metal that it's resting on allows me to uh, lift and um, put down the piece without disturbing it, disturbing the powder. So I'm lifting it up. Because of the hole in it, it's uh, you need to find the centre of gravity. And I'm just going to tip the surplus powder off of my rest. There we go, I'll move all that out of the way. And I've got this little thing here, it makes it easier to carry them around. So that goes on there, that sits on top. Now the reason for doing this one is showing you how you can enamel both sides of a piece. So that's one side cleaned, powdered and ready for the oven. So the oven's already warm at 160. I'm going to sit it there on the baking tray and then like magic here it is done. Um, so as you can see we've got a nice gold finish on one side and the bare copper on the back. So what I'm going to do now is clean the back. So again it's a sandpaper job to get all of the, uh, the bits and pieces off the back and then once that's all done I'm going to uh, add a second colour to the back. So a good clean So now it's clean, I'm lifting it with my spatula, putting it onto the rest, and now for a second colour on the back. To make a nice contrast, so that we be reckless and go for a bright red. So same process as before. Sprinkle a good layer of the powder evenly across the back. Now obviously if we were just to put this on the baking sheet, the gold 
um, gold layer down, red layer up. When it got hot, the gold would start to melt and stick it to the baking sheet. So there's a special tool. It's a weird looking thing. And uh, just finish this powder and show you it. So here we go. This is the thing. It's like a little frying pan with those spiky bits coming up. The idea is that you lift your piece and balance it on the spike so that the weight is taken just by the edge. Occasionally when you finish you can detect a little a slight nick on the back of the piece where it's been resting. But invariably, um, there seems to be no sign of it at all. So there we go. And here we are. Still hot from the oven. One side red and one side gold. And in close up, here's the finished piece. And flipping it over. There we go, the red side. Now, this is a really unusual powder. I've prepared the blank in the same way. And the powder as it goes on, as you can see, is just black. And uh, you would expect it to be black. This is what's called black texture. Um, and there really is nothing to see in the powder at all. But you put it on in the same way, just a fairly generous, even layer right the way across the piece. Once the powder's on, off it goes to the oven. And here it is. You can see that it's... Um, Rather than being solid black, it's black and silver, and it's got a real sort of hammered texture to it. What I'm going to do this time is add some detail to it. So this is the piece we've just enameled, and I'm adding some little FIMO um, flowers. These are quite thin, and um, they've been made like a stick of rock, building up different colours of... FIMO and firing it. You buy them and they look almost like a straw and then chop off slices with a razor blade. So these are little orchids and I'm putting the three orchids just arranging them there onto uh, this pre enamel blank and then I'm going to use another powder and this is a transparent powder. It has the same um, texture as the other powders. As you can see is um, white and looks rather like talcum powder. So I'm going to put a fairly generous layer right the way across. Um, the idea is that once this is uh, fired in the oven it will um, go clear and actually form a uh, protective cover and glaze over the whole piece and uh, in set the flowers into it. There we go. Next up is a new powder. This is Glitter Gold. And as you can see, once again, it's white and it's just like dusting uh, icing sugar over the blank. The blank I've prepared in exactly the same way with sandpaper. And there we go, a generous layer over the top. And now away to the oven. And here we go, the finished piece. How's that for bling? A real glittery gold finish.
And to finish up, we're doing a two-tone one. So I've already enameled this red, and I'm going to put a gold powder on one side to show you how you can combine more than one powder. So powder on, off to the oven, and the end result. Personally, I particularly like the, the uh, uneven sort of organic line between the two. As always, all the materials that I've used are available on our website. That's www.timetosew.com. Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join us again soon. Bye.